What is reinforcement in ABA therapy? Is it good? Is it bad? Is it both? Let's talk about it. Welcome to Neurodiversipedia, where we explain all those big, complicated words pertaining to neurodiversity in ways that everybody can understand. Reinforcement is what happens after a behavior occurs. So in ABA therapy, if a child cries out or runs away, what happens after that behavior ultimately determines if that behavior was reinforced. So you could do negative reinforcement, like a punishment of some sort, or you could do positive reinforcement, like celebrating. Positive reinforcement is used more often than negative reinforcement in many types of therapy. The idea of reinforcement is trying to increase or decrease the likelihood that a behavior would actually happen again. Reward systems are a great example of positive reinforcement. ABA therapy is extremely data-driven, so the amount of times a behavior is positively reinforced really matters. It helps therapists understand how to help a child learn new skills and avoid or increase the likelihood of certain behavior. Is reinforcement a sort of bribery? No. Bribery is different. Positive reinforcement is simply a way to encourage kids to do a certain behavior again. Did that help you understand the term? If yes, give us a thumbs up or subscribe below. If it didn't, then leave us a comment and tell us why. What are we missing? We always want to do better. This is a project by Goalie. Check us out at getgoalie.com.